does the MPFL, the league, get the respect it deserves? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Make sure you're part of the team and the family. And let me say thank you. Thank you again. I'm going to say it a lot. I really appreciate it. The subscribers, the members, the, the views, the comments, they're ridiculous. I spend hours doing replying to comments right now every day. So I really do appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, click that button. It's free and you might as well be part of the team. Are we giving the NPFL, the National Professional Fishing League, enough respect as a small organization that's putting on a decent tournament series? Now I'm gonna make this very clear. There are a lot of people that don't like me over MPFL. There's a lot of anglers that didn't like my comment and I apologize for it. And just give some facts about why we should pay more attention to what they're doing. Now when they first started, it was a working man's league. It was a lot of anglers that had extra income that wanted to compete at the highest level or at their highest level. There's a lot of anglers out there on the MPFL that would like to join the BPT or the elites, probably more the elites than the BPT. But there's a lot of anglers that would str have strived to make that jump to the biggest levels that is out that are out there. And in the four years that the MPFL has been out there, they've made some slow strides. But their recent hire of Ken Duke was, even though it's cousin Ken, it was brilliant. There's a lot of anglers that think Ken can right the ship of what's happening. Now, I don't know if he can, but if there is, is anyone that can do it, it is Ken Duke. Ken Duke is one of the most honest, loyal, good people you'll ever meet. Not the best fisherman. Sorry, Ken. I think I outfish you every time we go fishing. That's a joke. But still, one of the good guys out there. I think that's going to come back and haunt me. But what's most impressive about the MPFL is that they are paying the same amount to the winner that the Bassmaster Elites is. Now, let's take a step back. Bassmaster Elites has been going on for 20, 30 plus years. Their winning prize is $100,000. NPFL has been doing it for four years, and they're paying out the same amount. And while I think they need a qualifying circuit to make them a little bit more legitimate, I think that what NPFL does for the payouts is why professional anglers should be joining them. And the anglers that I know out there have constantly said that the NPFL treats the anglers better than any organization out period. That's the MLF. That's the elites. That's everybody. Take, think about that. MPFL anglers, some of them are on BPT. Some of them are on the elites. They all, or a majority of them said, we think that we get treated better here than any place else. And that's saying something. Now I want to make it really clear. This has nothing to do with the commentators. And if the commentators think that I've said something bad about them on this, about their performance on MPFL, they're wrong. I always felt like Fat Cat was a friend. I don't know now, to be honest. He ghosts me, so is Brad Fuller. But I've always felt like there was, like we, he and I had a friendship. Like I said, I don't think it's there anymore, but that's okay. And we all know how I feel about Luke, but this is not about the commentating. I think there's changes they could make to make it better, of course, but I think there's changes you can make in every organization's live feed. And I think when you start seeing more anglers jump into what they're doing, the MPFL, I think it only strengthens their cause that we need to give them a little bit more respect. When you start hearing anglers like Patrick Walters and Kyle Welcher and Zach Burge, Drew Cook, Tommy Biffle, John Cox, there's a group of anglers that are diehards that realize this is a great opportunity for them to make extra money. And this has nothing to do with the competition level because there's a lot of those anglers are not are just being really good other than Patrick Walters, who's just unstoppable on it. But their field has grown in the last three of the last four years, I believe. And that shows the strength that they're slowly gaining. It's not an instant dump it all now and get the results. They're slowly trying to, slowly trying to work things out. And, and the MPFL has an opportunity to do things different. And if they do something drastically different, I think they're going to be very happy with, with what comes with it. So are they going to shock the industry? But they're in it for the long haul. And that's the most important thing. I've been told by friends that it isn't about an instant success. They want to do things right. They want to do things the right way for them and for the anglers. And then continue to build the long haul for the story of the MPFL. And they're learning from their past mistakes and trying to rectify them and make them right in the future. And it will no longer be a working man's league. It's going to be an angler league. And having Ken 
and Brad and Al and all the rest of the group, that's the core people, I do know most of those guys are very, very trustworthy. And with them, they're bringing legitimacy to the anglers and that organization. And this is a league that we're not respecting enough. And we should be. And everyone has to start small and grow big. We're not just born coming out of the, the womb at six foot four. I might have been a little bit bigger. But you come out small, make baby steps, learn from your mistakes, correct them, and continue to improve and improve your business and that organization. And not only will they be respected by all, they're going to make something that's really special. But what do you think? Do you think we're not giving enough respect to the NPFL? I want to know. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers. Thank you.